Hello, I'm Fiona Creed. I'm a registered midwife at Nepean Hospital. I've been there for four and a half years, and prior to that, I was a um, enrolled nurse. At the moment, I'm completing my thesis on whether midwives change their practice after receiving smoking cessation training. It's to give me, hopefully, a Bachelor of Nursing Honours degree. My name is Sharon and I teach Medical Surgical Nursing 1 and Medical Surgical Nursing 2, which are two clinical subjects. And as well, I also teach Bioscience 1, which is a normal anatomy and physiology. Okay, I'm Hannah Olley and I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Nursing Advanced. My name's Lucy Ramjan. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Nursing and Midwifery. I teach in a range of first and second year clinical based units in the undergraduate nursing program, um, in particular Medical Surgical Nursing 1 and 2. My name is Lynn Stewart and I've been teaching in uh, first year and third year. I teach professional communications in first year and I have been coordinating a unit transition to graduate practice. Maths is very important in nursing and midwifery. You need to have a basic understanding so that you can do drug calculations. Um, not everything is prepackaged, and there are times when you will need to make up a drug according to a doctor's order for medication for a particular patient. This depends on the area that you're working in and can be based on things such as um, weight, age. Children, for instance, have totally different drug requirements than what an adult would do. Not everything comes just in tablet form or injection form and you might need to make things up with um, saline solutions, uh, using uh, prepackaged saline quantities but then you have to mix in certain amounts of drugs so you've got to be able to work out what it is that you need to put in that solution in order to give the correct dose to the patient. The first time I did maths in my course would have been second semester in our first year when we got introduced to giving medications both orally and through injections. Um, the maths involved was different to what I'd done in high school in that it was more basic than the maths I had studied but there was different calculations to learn because we got taught specific ways how to do them but it became very important very quickly on having trying to figure out how much medication you had to give the person, even just in our first tutorial. Students who have completed high school education would have the acquired mathematical skills for medication calculation competency. However, they do struggle with applying this knowledge to new nursing calculations presented to them in class. Um, in addition, our mature age students, especially um, who may not have needed to use maths in a while, struggle with medication calculation competency. However, with practice and revision, it does come back. The students are first taught these skills in first year. The clinical subjects I teach are in second year, so they are expected to be able to do the basic maths when they do come into second year. However, there's a proportion of students who seem to not be able to understand the formula and be able to adapt it to what is expected of them in second year. Because we do start first year as being very simple and second year we tend to step up and make it a little bit more um, complicated for them. And some students are having difficulty in being able to do that. So I guess right through the course, even to third year, what we are trying to do is bridge the gap, reduce the barriers, um, develop confidence and competency in our students. So it's very important that they develop competency. Because it's not something that you do do every day, the formula doesn't just naturally fall into your brain. It's something that you have to think back and try and remember or have it written down somewhere or be able to ask one of your other team members if they know the formula. Because if you get the formula wrong, you get the whole equation wrong, which means you end up giving the wrong medication to the patients. Maths is definitely an important part of a nursing course because the medications, you don't want to overdose a patient or underdose a patient because you can't do the maths properly. So you need to be able to do all the calculations and make sure you're very accurate just for patient safety, if nothing else. 
The study I'm doing is looking at the um, impact of smoking in pregnancy and how midwives changed, hopefully changed their practice after receiving smoking cessation training. You do need, I did need some maths in that component so I was able to look at statistics and analyse the data that I had collected in terms of numbers of midwives who said they'd changed their practice or who said they hadn't changed their practice. A successful student uh, usually is, is um, very self-directed because I think they need to access the online support that we give them and, rep and have continual repetition. Uh, they need to be out on clinical and be aware when calculation, be involved in, in seeing the hands-on approach and all the time preparing themselves for that role as a registered nurse. And I guess taking it seriously. My feelings about maths haven't changed in that I knew it was always going to be an important part of whatever career I chose to do, but they've changed in that I can definitely see the real world application of maths, even though it's more basic than what I was doing in year 12. The same principles apply and it's definitely important. A successful student is one that can do the maths to be able to administer medications to patients and not compromise the patient care. It is a student that is able to be proficient at various clinical skills. It is someone that is able to collect data, that is, be able to observe their patient, identify if there's anything wrong, understanding what is happening to their patient, and be able to utilise that data to be able to care for their patient. For current students it's really relevant. It's, it's an area that even though you think may not be important actually is and it's important in all walks of life, in all areas that you go into whether it's nursing or midwifery or business or um, computing or engineering, law, you still need to have some math skills. When I was at school sitting in my maths class, I hated maths. I didn't understand maths and I'm thinking, why on earth have I got to have x plus y equaling z? Didn't make any sense to me. Today it may still not make sense to me, but I understand the relevance behind it now. I understand that I needed maths in order to look after my patients, in order to make sure that I gave the correct medication, that I did the correct dosages. It is something that, whilst you may not like it, you need it in everything you do, in every single aspect of your life, whether it's professional or whether it's home, you need maths.